All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Life of Pi. Meet with me, your host, Paul Young. And tonight, we are talking about the hit TV show from Canada that came from Crave to Hulu, which is Letter Kenny. And joining me today, I have Mr. Frank, Frankie T. He's also a big Letter Kenny fan. As you guys can see in the camera shot, we're both rocking our uh, Letter Kenny t shirts. Frank, say hi to the people. There it is. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, Paul? What's up, man? What's up? So. We were, we were going to also have another gentleman joining us tonight, Mr. Ben, but we are pretty sure that Ben passed out from day drinking, so we're going to roll it with it and do the best that we can. Because <laughs> we did, we called him, what, about three times? <laughs> oh, yeah. couple texts, too. So, like, how did you find this show? Oh, uh, dude. Um, so, you know how Facebook has those videos those little random videos that pop up on yeah. your timeline yeah. it was like those two minute letter kenny problem videos and i started watching those and i'm like what the hell is this it's hilarious and i found out it was a tv show in canada and i had to get hulu to start watching it it was awesome see i didn't know there was like they did like a youtube channel thing yeah. and so like that interview you said the uh, the podcast you sent me from them in Canada, it was like Jared Kiso and then the Nathan Dales. Nate. Yeah, yeah, Nate. They were talking about like, yeah, we just did a couple skits online. People thought it was really funny. And then he's like, gave us a show. He's like, and they're like, it's crazy okay. how that all like, snowballed, insane. Yeah, and like then they met. They think they said they met playing like literally beer league hockey. Yeah, like four or five of the crew, ass and crew, played up in a beer league hockey team in Calgary together and everything just kind of snowballs from there. It was amazing. Yeah. He, he goes, yeah, we're just happy. We just happen to all be professional actors. I'm like, what are the chances of four <laughs> professionally trained actors playing in the same beer league, not even league, but in the same team. It's yeah, just like, in Calgary, you know, yeah, of all Calgary. places. Cause isn't it, um, is it Jonesy? Isn't he one of the hockey players too that they, they, I think they knew. Yeah, uh, Dylan Playfair and yeah. Andrew here or her, whatever, however you pronounce that, the hockey players. Um, yeah, they were both on that beer league hockey team, and they were both part of the Letter Kenny problem skits on on YouTube. Yeah, see, um, I, I've never. I need to see those. Are they still on YouTube? Oh yeah, they're funny too. And I think they're the hockey players are only in one of them. I think they did like six or seven all together, and then that's how the they started with the TV show after that. Huh. Yeah, like me, like, I think I literally found, because I think Ben just happened to tell me about it, and I think he was like, you gotta watch the show Letter Kenny. I was like, what the hell is Letter Kenny? It sounds, I was like, it sounds really weird. Then I watched, I remember I watched a couple episodes, I was like, this is really weird. And then I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna watch one more. I was like, you know, I'm gonna watch one more. And then you see, like, Bonnie McMurray for the first time, and it's just, like, literally, like, Bonnie McMurray. Mm -hmm. And then you see Bonnie Kitty, McMurray. And you see Kitty Cat, and it's just like, oh my God. And like every chick on the show is a smoke show. Angie. Uh McMurray's yeah. wife. Um <laughs> What's that what's that lady's name? The Indian lady, the Aunt Antonise? What's her name again? I don't like, like all the Then yeah. Um Oh jeez. The Indian lady. Oh, uh, Tannis, Tannis. Yeah, Tannis, Tannis. I find her, yeah. I find her super sexy just because <laughs> she's like, she's like that badass chick. It's like, and then yeah, Bonnie, yeah. and then Bonnie McMurray, the she, then Bonnie McMurray is like that girl next door, and you're just like, hmm, hello. Yeah. And she's always like, <laughs> hi Wayne. He's like, hi Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> but like, dude, all, like all the characters too in that show, it's like, they all are so different, but they all go together so well oh yeah it's like yeah. just it's unbelievable how every character fits that show perfectly you know yeah because like to me the hockey players i think jonesy and um i can never remember the other guys riley name. jonesy and riley riley it took me probably three seasons to get used to them then once they started like yeah. a bunch of hockey stuff yeah. then it got really funny then you meet shorzy which is Jared Keyes. Dude, Shorzy's hilarious. Talk about your balls, you tit fucker. <laughs> like, like as, Dude, soon as, as soon as you meet the hockey, 
handstand uh, <laughs> yeah, push-ups. Doing, he's doing push-ups. He's like, I fucked your mom last night. <laughs> and they're like, fuck you, Shorzy. These <laughs> one-liners, man. It, like, the one- I don't know how they come up with them. <laughs> Like the one that you said we were out golfing last week was like the one about like your mom came so hard she finished, she filled up my aquarium, <laughs> and I was like, no, yeah, ben, I heard ben, it, that. and you I, nailed I was, that. Dude. I was like, I was like, that's the one Frank was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, like because like, like you said, like all the characters are very the writers can the what? I'm sorry, I was just saying how. Uh... It's amazing how the writers and Jared Kiso, who plays Wayne in it, um, is one of the writers. It's amazing how they can come up with that stuff, and, and then it's amazing how they could recite that. You know, like all those long-winded, you know, interactions with each other. It's amazing. Like literally, like I love when they have like a sexual in the window and they just like pass it around, or they find a yeah, word like they keep moist, with it. like the moist and like. Just like all like the little stupid things like that, and like the sh- the concept of the show is very basic because they're literally sitting at a fruit stand. Oh, so basic in their yeah. driveway. Yeah, it's like talking shit, drinking puppers. <laughs> it's like seriously, it's like the Canadian hillbilly version of Always Sunny, you know? Oh my god, it basically is. It's like yeah, sh- it's a show about nothing, but it's just so freaking hilarious. Well, what, yeah, because isn't D like, isn't she like a sister to one of the people in Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah, she's sisters with uh, Dennis. Okay, that's right. Yeah. So you figure Jared Kiso and Kitty Cat, brother and sister, they live together. Yeah. Except, except yeah. No... It's kind of, it's very similar, you know, in a lot of respects. I also think it's funny that they never show them actually working. Like, you never see Derry at work. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never see Squirrelly oh, like, Dan- I'm still like, I mean, I assume he, he's got a family dairy, you know, farm, but yeah. you don't know for sure, I guess. Yeah, and it's like, you never see Same him thing, at work. What does Squirrely what does Dan do, you know? Yeah. What does Kitty Cat do? That's what I want to know. Where does Kitty Cat work? Might help out Wayne, I don't know. Who knows? She, that A girl that good looking is not lifting no hay bales with Wayne. <laughs> well... Well, the one episode she was doing modeling in the city, right? Yeah, I think she went away. Then she came back with blonde hair and like the two, like I don't know what they were trying to yeah. be, like. And they tried to pose them as like gay people to get them beat up. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> put a shirt on. <laughs> put a fucking shirt on. But yeah, like literally, like is them just sitting at the like the like, the things I love the most are them sitting at the coffee table sitting outside smoking and then sitting in their front yard and then sometimes oh, yeah. at the bar I was like yeah, they have like four different like scenes and like that's it and it's just like yeah. and you have like Gail who's like the most like the horniest person on the planet <laughs> she's just like always just like doing this weird creepy <laughs> shit like, like talking about how she's all wet downstairs and stuff and <laughs> and then she starts banging Modines. Then she, yeah so why is it called Modines is that her last name I don't know. Like the first, uh, the first, first bar that they were at was Modine's Roadhouse, and then it got burnt down. Then it was Modine's two, and then that burned down, and they're at Modine's three right now. So I'm not quite sure what Modine's is. See, but... that's probably that's probably one of the facts that Ben would have had for us if he wouldn't have passed out. Yeah, one of the factoids, right? Yeah, he he said he yeah, he said he had a bunch of facts for us, but he he did a little day drinking with with his father in law, so <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't picking up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said I've always wondered like what and the fun the funny thing is like the fact that the bar keeps burning down, like no one's like grants, it just burns yeah. down, like yeah. So like that that podcast I sent you, that interview that Jared and he did, yeah, they said that they their goal is to go like twenty five seasons with this thing. 25 yeah, seasons. Like, they don't want to stop. I mean, and they're they gonna realize pay, why that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, they're like gods in Canada, you know? Are they really they right have, now? Yeah. They have no desire to go to Hollywood or anything like that. Which I so, like. Which I like that he said that. Oh, he, 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 he's like, I don't want to go to Hollywood. He goes, Why would I do that? He goes, I live in Canada. He goes, I'm making good money here. Why would I go anywhere? Yeah. He's perfectly content. 
But what I mean by that is like, what are they? Are they going to get to like Modine's twenty eight by the end of this thing? <laughs> I hope they do. And honestly, I hope they never explain what Modine's is, if in, unless we just missed it, which I don't think we did. Could have. Who knows? But uh, they talk fast, so we might have missed it. Who knows? Yeah, like I said, I, like I was telling you earlier, like I got like three or four people to start watching. I'm telling, I was telling people like at work and like where I was at today, I was like, you guys need to watch this show. It's just, I can't explain yeah. why it's good. You just need to watch it because it's so hard to explain what the show is. Dude. And it's like, it's so relatable. I don't know. You know, Beth, she grew up in LaGrange, which you were, you were at LaGrange today. Yeah, I was in LaGrange. Right? Oh, she grew up out there? Yeah, she grew up in oh, that okay, city. yeah. It, th- those so are like th- letter I candy totally people. picture this city being like I like I really picture this and I could see it from the few times I've been out there yeah. like I could see the skids you know at high school I could see the the jocks with the hockey players I could definitely see the Hill Hicks it's like it makes sense and I think that's why it's so relatable like and it kind it, of it fits it kind of is because like all the houses are spread apart it's like all like yeah. country people and all the drivers are really long. So like the first episode where Wayne's like, two hockey players came down the lane the other day. It's like <laughs> I, like you said, I can see that happening now. Like two hockey players like show up going, Oh yeah. Dirt's off, Donnie Brook time, go time. <laughs> Tilly time. <laughs> and, and then of course like you got the skids, which is like I that's like honestly some of my favorite characters in the entire show because they're just oh, so yeah. just like ridiculous with the Stuart rolled, rolled, and Devin and Stuart, yeah, and then like, the two, the two skids that don't even talk. <laughs> they're just there, like when he goes to DJ, like the ones just like staring at the wall the whole time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's all they're like playing with. The, they're like cats, you know. They're like playing with things on the yeah. wall. <laughs> it's just like I, I, I just want, I want to know what happened to like the Devin guy. Like he just. Like in between like, okay, well, like three and four, he's kind of like disappeared, and they never really explained. So, like he's gone. Rumor was that he caught on with another show, and he just stopped showing up to Letterkenny. Whoops. That was a rumor. Yeah, big mistake, I would say. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just like an internet rumor that's out there. But how does nobody know with the internet where he's at, what he's doing? Uh, dude, it it's Canada. I don't know. They keep tight lips up there, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but because you, you know that there, there's there's great fishings in Quebec. <laughs> well, there's awesome fishing in Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> um, there... Dude, so who, who's your favorite character on the show? Oh my god, I don't even. I like. I want to say um, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like the head skid. He's just so ridiculous because he's, he's like always trying to mastermind like what is the next thing that I'm gonna do. Yeah, and it's just and like I want to know like I think it's what like season eight he gets like super jack he like goes to the city and like cuts the all Stuart, his hair off. Yeah, my one, my thing yeah. is did he actually get super jacked or is that like super imposed? Oh yeah, like... no no he got he got jacked for that. And I love that they always talk about like how big his dick is. <laughs> They're like, it's, it, it, it's like a tennis ball in a sock. Like, he's, he's cross always, swords in sixth grade. I saw it. And, and, and Devin's always like, his dick is huge. He's like, Devin. He's like, oh, he's touching his dick in the weight room and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And like, see, it, in one of the later seasons, they go to the city to, um, with uh, Joint Boy and yeah, uh, yeah. what's the other meathead's name? Uh, uh, Joint Boy. Tyson. And, yeah. Tyson, and he goes to the and fight so and he out. picks the kid up and he yeah, <laughs> he like but on the stuff. way, on the way to the city, they're out there rocking a piss and yeah, uh, Stewart's just he keeps pissing, you know, everybody else stopped and he's still pissing and they're talking, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Aren't you done yet?" And he, and Stewart's like, "Yeah, I've been done for a few minutes." And he looks at Rold and Rold's like, "Sorry, Stewart," and he zips him up. <laughs> 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 Like okay, they, so, I love how Stuart uses Rold for you know his enjoyment, basically. No, not Patrick. I, mean, I meant Daddy. Stuart. I meant Stuart. I don't know why I said yeah. Patrick. I know who Patrick even is. I don't think he even is a Patrick. I meant Stuart. <laughs> oh, figured you meant Stuart. Yeah, yeah, Stuart. Yeah. He, anything is like you see him like when his hair's cut off and he's like not in character. It's like two different yeah. people. It's like the weirdest thing. Well, that's ever. a wig. That's a wig that he oh, wears. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I read that. 
I also love the, the little. And so like he doesn't get recognized in Canada. Like he could go out. That's what he said in some interview. He could go out and he doesn't get recognized at all because he doesn't have the long hair. Which would be nice because if like if you people are like this character's great, like I want to meet this person. He's not getting yeah. like psycho stock, but people in America right. psycho stock. I feel more than people in Canada probably do. People in Canada probably just like, eh, you know, whatever. Yeah, really so. more chill. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, Stewart. Stewart's my favorite character for sure. Like, yeah, I I love all all the characters. Like I said, like once you like season like four and five, they have it taken the, good. they've taken the time to develop every single character. Every they have character, on the show. and then like they bring in guys like Roxy and uh, Danzy, right? The, yeah. You know, and they like take time to build their characters up, and now in like season seven and eight, like they're almost part of the group now. You know. Yeah, Crazy. like they, because like they just keep adding to the group, and it's like they don't like each other, yeah. but then like they'll all go fight together. They'll, they'll all right, go have a right, tilly. Right, right. <laughs> they have like a, a sense of pride about their community together. You know, while they they have their differences, but yeah. when it comes to protecting their own, they're like they so, they join together for that. You know. So who who is your favorite character, dude? It's hard to pick one. I don't know. Like it's so hard to pick one. Um, like, Stuart. I mean, Squirrely Dan's amazing. Like his one-liners are hilarious. But I really like McMurray. Like I think he's oh, Mr. McMurray. Hilarious. Yeah. Where he where he always shows up. He's like, good. How are you? Doing? Good. 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 No, you shut yeah, up. I'm gonna speak. You you be quiet. No, I talk. You talk. I talk. You talk. No. <laughs> kind of like how we're doing the Skype a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know. He's he's freaking hilarious, and I wish they would use him a little bit more in the in the seasons. You know, like he gets like what four or five episodes a season, something like that. Yeah, I wish you, yeah, I wish they put him in a little bit more. Um, but yeah. that <clears throat> the season eight when they're doing the TV shows, the Crack and Egg and McMurray's on after him. Yeah. I thought those were some of the funniest shows. See, I didn't um, like. I, I, I was like, are they gonna keep this crack and egg going for like a long time? I'm glad it was like three or four episodes. Yeah, and they were no, like done with it. Yeah, it was like, like two or three episodes. I think he's like, welcome to crack and egg. I bet you won't. <laughs> but like when Nick Murray would come on after them, and the callers would call up about his wife, I thought that was like some of the funniest stuff in like, the entire show. Yeah, he's talking about know? his four inch penis and how it's average size. He was measuring it wrong. <laughs> I learned on Stern today. You measure from the base. <laughs> you measure from the base all the way up. They're all like, "What?" <laughs> they're, they're like, "Like Four you know, point two five inches." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I, I'm with you on that. I feel like they need to give him more, but maybe he doesn't want that. I mean, he's one that I can really yeah. think of. Yeah. And honestly, like, I would love to get someone like him, like, on the show and like talk to him about like how he got that role yeah like and we need to have like some of the letter candy girls come on then we'll have the letter you candy gotta get guys bonnie mcmurray on. dude bonnie mcmurray that's like that's my number one camelia cowell i think her name is yes. camelia Cow- cowell or something yeah she's on instagram but... yeah <laughs> i'm sure you know <laughs> i did because i was looking up i was like, i'm gonna try and message these people and maybe get one of them on which would be like freaking awesome i was like well yeah. we all have instagrams obviously it's always the only way i'm gonna be able to get a hold of mr instagram so i was like hey i'm gonna start shooting these people messages what if they say yes yeah. that'd be cool if they say no whatever well i'm joining if uh if you get one of them that day you and like nine other dude fr- you and like nine other <laughs> dude friends of mine <laughs> you let me know i'm like uh, you're, you're gonna hear an episode pop up and it's gonna be just her voice and you're gonna be like i wasn't there for that that bastard. We're no longer friends if that happens. <laughs> and you know Ben would be on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't be sleeping right now. <laughs> but yeah, I. Yeah, but okay. So who do who do you is, is the hottest in Letterkenny? Oh God, Bonnie McMurray. See that's Bonnie that's McMurray. I, I'm a Bonnie McMurray girl. I like that cute little girl next door thing. Yeah. I know I know Ben. His vote was Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat. And I'm like, she Michelle, like she's, Michelle Milet. Yeah, she's a she's a pistol yeah. man. Yeah, but 
another thing that I love about the show is like all their like their catchphrases, which is like I feel like which is like kind of like grown the show is like all the catchphrases. No, but all the one-liners, you're right. They're hilarious. Like Ferda and I can say that to anybody. What's up, Ferda? Ferda. And a puck bunnies <laughs> and pitter patter. Let's get at her and. And I always yeah. love, like, I also love, like, the slow motion scenes where you know Wayne's gonna fight. He just does, like, he unbuckles his, mm-hmm. like, sleeve. I'm just like, that's so yeah. weird. And there's, there's literally a t-shirt with just his oh, wrist and his hand unbuckling yeah. the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Well, you know why he always has long sleeves on? It's because yeah. he's got these he's got tattoos right here that you see on Shorzy. But yeah, I, I like him as Shorzy, though. Like, when they, when they actually have Shorzy actually playing... The hockey game in like season like eight, I think it is, where where they beat up the Rockets or the Sham yeah, Rockets, and he he like skates away all weird. I'm like, that's, that's so the goofy, but it's like hilarious. Like, yeah. But yeah, like like I said, him in that hockey game, he's just like talking shit to all those females. <laughs> yeah. And he skates away like a, like a goof, and then he's like all that shit talking he does like on the ice, and you could tell I'm like. It took me probably four seasons. I'm like, that's got to be Jared Keyes. I was like, it sounds just like him. Yeah. And then, when, like, they show him playing hockey. You can see, like, under the black visor, like, that's him. Like, Yeah, they always keep his, face, his uh, face hidden for that reason, you know. Which, I, I think, is everybody knows it's him, but, like, that they, they still keep his back turned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they're open, and then you only see him. It adds to it, I think, you know. Yeah, and you only see him when he's taking a crap on the toilet. Because <laughs> they're riding the red rocket. We haven't even talked about like the, the hockey team and how that all goes from the Shamrocks to the Letterkenny oh, Irish. God, and all. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just that whole thing is awesome. And and now it's Shamrock the, the not Gretzky's, the beer league where coach right, just right. talks about Barb yeah. the whole time. My Barb, it's bar- Barbarita time. <laughs> Did I ever tell you boys about the time we went to Disneyland? <laughs> he's like, and I got, he's like, I got a stiffy, and I just went out of town on her right there. They're like, coach, <laughs> and I love when he gets angry that he, they put a trash can down just for him to kick it. Yeah, he just yells, "It's fucking, fucking embarrassing." <laughs> but yeah, like the hockey stuff, like I said, it took me like probably a season and a half to really get into it. Then it's like hilarious because like when they go to like I think it's the senior league with like. Boom t- Jonesy and Boomtown yeah. and all them. The one guy's Fisky, one, yeah, the one guy, the one guy is just like pussy. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just the way he pussy. says it. He says something. He's like, pussy. How they like they always, Boomtown. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then Boomtown's like, when the Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup in 2009, <laughs> I jerked off with my tears. <laughs> And then they go around again. He goes, I'm upset that no one acknowledged my masturbation story. <laughs> like, there's a few interactions where the, it's like they're talking right to Boomtown without going in order. And, like, Boomtown will look at Fisky and be like, dude, say my name, you know. And then he's like, sorry, sorry, Boomtown. And then Boomtown starts talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, they're, like I said, and, and then they have the whole thing where, like, don't step on the logo. And they're... They started like, Why is like, it on the floor? Because <laughs> they went like what, like oh and fifteen on their season. They didn't win a game, but they were like celebrities still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's just the whole thing's put together so well. I mean, there's like so many different storylines going on at once. It's like crazy how. So, and it's only like the seasons are only eight episodes long. You know, some are only six. They, yeah, and they just. Uh, pack so much stuff into it it's amazing so what do you think's gonna happen with season 10 who what do you think's gonna happen with wayne dude all right so we left off season nine with him walking with dirk's coming back into the fold right yeah yeah he's now dating the french chick that yeah the da- french that chick Derry that Derry was like in love was. with Yes. I can't freaking stand so, that guy. He was such, he was the biggest douchebag in this show. He's like everyone's town. Years. Yeah, and he, he looks he looks at Wayne, he goes, Everyone in this town loves me, I'm untouchable. And then like yeah. Katie and Vine McMurray and Gary are like, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> well that's what I don't get is like how is he showing up in that or after what, fifteen people from Ladder County beat the crap out of him? Like literally snapped his arm in half. Yeah. 
Right. Right. And that was like honestly one of the best fight scenes they had because everybody was fighting and just beating the crap out of these heads because they're, they're, they're like, so are are is this happening right now? We're we're gonna fight. This is going down. And the guy's like, yes. He goes, he goes, but are you sure this is gonna happen right now? He goes, yeah. He goes, well, I'm gonna get more gravy. You say he goes, we're fighting. No gravy. <laughs> But yeah, so what do you, what do you think Wayne's gonna do with, with these with females? He's got like three now. Well, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with that. The French his French chick came back, and that's how they in the parking lot there. Long dick deer in the bar with Katie and Derry and Derry's ex sweetie. And then Wayne walks out of the bar into the parking lot and sees his ex fiance, the French chick. So my thing is. That they never really explain. Like, did he know she was out there, or he just? It he... looks like I think he. I, I'm gonna assume he got like a text message, right? Something yeah, like that. Because he literally just, he, it, he, wrote, he goes right outside. You know. Yeah, it, it just shows him walking out. I'm like, you're not gonna walk outside with purpose, right? And especially with your girl being inside, his new girl, which right. Ro- he left Rosie inside Rosie. with all that. And I like so. her a lot more than the. Oh yeah, she's great. Um. But no, I, I love, like, my thing is, he can't go back to the Canadian chick because he goes, once she's a cheater, it's done. It's over with. You can't go back. Right. Because he literally gave Derry so much crap for trying to go back and fight for this chick in, in Quebec. Yeah. That's is, why he's not going to, that's why he's not, I don't think he's going to get back with her, but. I freaking hope not. I honestly, I just want to see him beat the crap out of, out of long dick whatever his name long dick durs long dick Deers, yeah so i still don't understand why how long dick Deers gets into that bar knowing he could get the shippy out of him again yeah so that's... it's gonna be interesting how they pick this season back up have we heard when they're putting it out or doing it because i mean people are recording movies and tv shows right now so I, they got to be like right in the clear i assume well they said 2021 so it's gonna happen this year or it's gonna be re- released this year when i don't know historically they've been releasing them in like july and december i think i think they've been trying to do two seasons per year so we'll see what i don't know yeah because it says here that they that they scheduled filming of the 10th season back in august Yeah, because everything I'm seeing is it definitely says they're coming back for a season ten. Yeah, yeah. It's looking like possibly in July, because that's when they've released the last couple ones. Yeah. Oh, they're filming season ten, and eleven back to back, so they're going to put out both of them in a row. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it says it says on here they're filming them back to back, just you know, to get them to get to knock them out. And it sounds like everybody pretty much is back. So let's hope it is in July. That would be uh. Give us something to watch this summer. Yeah. Yeah, people are googling when is season eleven coming out. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it doesn't say an exact date, but it says there will be a season 10 and 11. It was an episode of Letter Kenny. Day Beers. Yeah, Day Beers. I love that one. They're like, they're like, they're all like it's Day Beers. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just them outside drinking and talking. Drinking beers. And then literally Day you just find, and then like the one episode where like Mr. McMurray and Mrs. McMurray, you find out that they're swingers. <laughs> they're, 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 they talk about the how they live. Room. They talk about how they live. What they call it, the that eccentric lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Going down to the Poco. Yeah. <laughs> the Mick Poco. And they're talking about how, like, the best way. They're like, should we do the Irish goodbye, the regular goodbye, the letter candy goodbye? What's the letter candy goodbye? Well, that's where you run with the two by four through the window and just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the old letter candy leave. The old t- Tokyo Sayonara. Tokyo Sayonara. <laughs> Hey, like I said, like the thing is, these aren't real things. They're just making this up, and like this is what. Oh it is. yeah, they're just off the top of their head. They're just rattling it off. It's crazy. 
and like I said, like, I love the fact that, like, they are so genius. Like, they have marketed, like, all their little catchphrases and everything so perfectly. Yeah. Like, I mean, they it's got, like every episode, they come out with a new catchphrase, you know? Like, I mean, they got us. You got the Allegedly shirt on. Yeah. Allegedly. Isn't yeah, that... we haven't even talked about the Ginger and Boots and yeah, the ginger, whole ostrich situation. Yeah, Ginger yeah. and Boots. Yeah, because they show up in the Quebec bar when Derry goes back. He goes, yeah, he, yeah, he goes with ginger and yeah. boots to the quebec bar <laughs> they were the only two in the bar that day <laughs> oh my god yeah they're like they're, they're like they're like because they're yeah, because they're uh going to fight tannis for the first time they're like you brought this guy he fucked an ostrich <laughs> allegedly <laughs> you brought an ostrich fucker was the ostrich dead allegedly <laughs> yeah but if he fucks an ostrich what else did he fuck <laughs> allegedly <laughs> And of course, you, you of course you got the shirt that I'm wearing, like the super soft birthday party where Derry gets a super soft birthday pony. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. But yeah, I bought this shirt. That's... I bought this shirt literally just so I could wear it on my birthday in like two weeks. <laughs> that's great. It's a good shirt. So I'm like, well, they could draw attention to myself. With... So, but in that episode, in the super soft birthday party, they bring up like. You know, because Wayne and, and Katie weren't allowed to have birthdays growing up, you know? Yeah. It's like, nobody knows how these people grew up in, you know, back in the day. Like, none of the characters. We don't know any of their upbringing. Yeah, or, you don't know any of it. Or parents or anything. Then, of course, you have the Amish dicks that come around. <laughs> Loretta. Yeah, Loretta Dick and Richard Dick. And that whole episode where they go over there and they Noah, do... Noah Dick. Yeah, Noah Dick. And then the episode where they go over to their house to, like, like do, like, hand crap... What, what, what was the phrase they used? Um, uh, hand jobs. Hand jobs. Good old hand jobs. And they're talking about, like... The, grown men hand jobs. And they're talking about the hole in the sheet and everything. And they're like... Wayne's like, it's not real. It's not a real thing. And then Derry's Derry with the sheet, and he's like, and he looks into the sheet hole, and then he looks through it. And the camera shot that they used for that scene is Derry's <laughs> eye just huge, and then it zooms into like his POV, his point of view. Yeah. And like, and Squirrely Dan and Wayne are just like, <laughs> and then they give oh, him a man. pie, and they're they're like, oh, you thought I was gonna be money, and you didn't want to take the money. He's like, yep, that's what it was. <laughs> I was, you know it. I was embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an example of them like being able to find these characters and like develop them a little bit. Oh and yeah, they've come back two or three times now. You know, it's they and it's do just a really, great job of that. And it's just really small, quick stuff. And it's just like yeah, I need a dick. But, but <laughs> it's hilarious, and you remember them. You know, so and those are like the daughters that are in that episode. That's the same ones that are running around sleeping with um the hockey players, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where they were like Cassidy hiding and somebody else. Yeah. And, and they're like talking about how like they're like, oh no, no then the pencil boys running out of ink. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, We're tired. We need sleep. All we want to do is have sex. And they're like, I'm squirrely Dan and Dare, like, and what is the problem with this? <laughs> and it's creepy you think about because they're like 17, 18, these hockey players are like in their twenties, and it's just like Yeah, you know. don't yeah. You don't know everybody's ages. They try. They keep that hidden too. You know, like yeah, because they never, they never said Derry's birthday on the no. super soft birthday, did they? Well, like, they said when they were went okay that episode where they were both like sweet on Bonnie McMurray, the hot tub episode. Yeah, and they're like having that fight at the kitchen table, and you know Wayne's like, well, she's only twenty. You might want to let the paint dry on that one a wee bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. And like, and Dan's about to say, "Well, I'm only," and then Katie's like, "Nobody cares." And then Derry says, "Well, I'm only this age," and Wayne's like, "Nobody cares," you know. So they they keep all their, you know, personal stuff hidden. Which the, which I like series. is it adds like the mystique of the show. Yeah, yeah. You always you you want to know more about it, so everybody's always googling Letter Kenny, like what happened to Wayne's parents, you know. Like it's me, like, I don't even care. I don't. I don't want to know. I'm not there for that. Right. But there's like you know a million Google responses to that. Oh know? god, it's yeah. Like, and they love it. They love it. They want to. Oh, you have to. Because the fact it started yeah. something small on YouTube and now it's like here in America. It's like all over the world now. And it's just like this huge thing where people 
are wearing t-shirts and getting beer mugs and pencils and yeah. coffee coasters and everything. Mm-hmm. You're Puffers is a real is a real beer too. You can buy it in Canada. Shut up! No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. You know what that I'm means? I'm hoping they can get this in the U.S. Frank, you know what that means? We have to do right. That means we, Canada trip. We, that means that means we have to go on to Ontario and find the Letter Kenny house and drink puppers on the porch. There you go. <laughs> Even it's though it's pro- I know it's in Sudbury, Ontario. That's where they film it. Even though the house is probably just like on a giant lot somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure. No, no. I th- it, I think all that stuff is real. Honestly, that'd that's be, what it sounds like to me. That'd be awesome if we went to Canada and there was actually a Modine's three. <laughs> they're, dude, they're, that would be the I greatest mean, thing ever. <laughs> they say on like shoots in Sudbury, Ontario, like they have to shut down half the city because they all not because like the production's so big, but because all the people in that town want to see it. So oh, like I they, bet. they they have to get police involved and like shut down the area of the town where they're shooting. And the thing is, like you know, like that's that's the show they're shooting there. They're like, yeah. Like there's you, no like, secrets about it. Like you have to know, like word of mouth. Like you're like, oh, they're yeah. filming here today. Okay, and then that's the other thing. Is like a lot of those characters are from Sudbury, Ontario. Just they just pick these guys up, like Joint Boy and Tyson. They're from Sudbury. You Which know? is crazy because like they're literally just finding these random dudes for these roles, and they're like, here you yeah. go, you're perfect for this role. Show yeah. up. And they are. They're perfect. And then you have like they're not the greatest actors, but they they do what is needed of them. Yeah. You then, know, the and series. then, like they added the the two gay lifters, which I which right. I thought that's was like, Roxy and Danzy. Yeah, like it was really weird. Cause I'm like, okay, like because they just came in. I'm like, are they gonna make these guys characters? And they kept showing up. I was like, okay, these guys are fucking hilarious. Like the Valentine, <laughs> the Valentine scene where they're yeah. like they're at the um, what do they call that um, the yeah the speed, the speed dating eight. the speed dating eight, yeah, and then like they're doing like, all these sexual into us. He, he, he goes. I forget what he says to, to Kitty Cat, and she just goes, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like saying all these like sexual and I was just like, gay, like oh, gay like they they. <laughs> yeah. And the lady running it just like freaks out. She's like, "God damn it, motherfucker! This is it a church?" <laughs> and these gay guys are marry each other, and they're just trying to fuck everybody. <laughs> yeah. But even that lady too. So that lady they bring back, you know, she was in the one where they were trying to hook Wayne up, you know, on yeah. uh, on that dating service. Yeah, he he was like strike one. Just bring these characters back at random. It's awesome. And this thing, I, yeah, this thing I like. Like you don't know who's going to show up. You're just like, oh, well, it could be anybody. Yeah, like watch, like season ten, Devin will show back up. Yeah, who wouldn't knows? that wouldn't Maybe that be something? That. He's like, you that's, know, guys, that's I... another internet rumor. Like they're waiting to bring him back. That's that's a rumor out there. But I'll tell you what, though, if you just like walk off a show and don't show up, I don't think they're going to bring you back. Yeah, if that if that's true, that's going to be hard to I'll tell you what, come though, back from. What if that is true? And then like that show that he was on bombed, and now he's just seeing this show just blowing up, and it's oh, just I massive. Mean, it doesn't matter what he was on. It probably, at least in Canada, was not bigger than Letter Kenny. I'm sure. Yeah, not right now. No. No, I mean Ladder Kenny is like, it's it it's always sunny in in Canada. It really is like popularity wise, it's nuts. So is letter is, is there actually a city in Canada called Letter Kenny? Like so, yes, I I've researched this. Okay, so there is a Letter Kenny Ontario, but the series is not based on that town. Okay. Okay. That town. So Letter Kenny in Wayne's made up world or Jared Kiso's made up world Mm -hmm. it's just a made up town of where he grew up that's what he envisioned letter kenny to be letter kenny ontario the real one is like a it's like a no man's town it's like nobody lives there it's just like a off the beaten path town in like northern ontario way out of the way okay so the series like i said is actually set or filmed in sudbury Ontario, which is pretty much you could draw a line from Cleveland north. Okay. And keep going, like way north, like above. So it's like all the way up. It's, it's like on the other side there. of it's Canada? Like, it's like, I want to say like north or northwestern Ontario, if that makes sense. 
honestly, honestly though, I don't even know landmarks of Canada because I, yeah. I don't look at maps of Canada like ever. Yeah. What, what's this, but it's it's up there. What's the city called? Sudbury. Sudbury. S U D Berry. B U R Y. Look, literally, I typed in Sudbury and someone put in the Sudbury house on Google. <laughs> I saw, I'm like, I'm not even kidding. There you go. But it's not. It's People something are else. Searching it. It's not. Oh like, no, it's not. It's not what what, what we're talking about. Sudbury yeah. on. Oh oh yeah, Sudbury, Ontario. Where in the world? So I'm trying to find this here compared to America. Yeah, so it's like up above Toronto and Ottawa. So that'd be quite yeah. a haul for us. Oh, that's it's like a six or eight hour drive. I I love this show. I think it's hilarious. It's so hard to describe it to people. Like, and to me, yeah. I feel like it's a certain kind of humor. If you don't like dry humor, you're gonna think the show's ha- very dumb. Yes, you have to like dry humor. Yes. My sure. thing is, I'm like, if it's different and weird, like especially like the um. The St. Paddy's Day episode. I think it was like the first or second season, right? Where Derry. Yeah, I, was, where I think it was the first. Was where, it the, it might, no, it was the second. Because Derry gets in three fights in one night with the same yeah, person. Yeah, legendary. <laughs> legendary. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what happened because I just woke up in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and they kept asking Wayne what happened. He's like, nah, I was probably out having a dart. <laughs> yeah. I love that they call cigarettes darts. Like, it's just yeah, like. Yeah. Their names for things are awesome, like fights or Tillies and Donnie Brooks and you know. And we and we, we call stuff cigarettes, they're probably like, that's a stupid name. Yeah. Yeah. And Tannis is selling darts on the on the res. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a whole thing. <laughs> selling cigs on the selling darts on the res. Jeez. Yeah, that's it's great, man. I mean, but yeah, anybody who's listening, if you haven't seen the show, it's on Hulu. Watch it. It literally, it won't take you very long. I watched, I think, seven seasons in like a few days because each episode is, what, 24, 25 minutes? Yeah, they're I mean, short, it, short episodes. Cause think, only eight episodes long a season. If, and like some, some seasons are only six of them, so it's like you can burn through them. Me, it took me forever because I got Hulu. And I clicked the wrong thing, so I have freaking ads that I'm paying for. So I said all these stupid like minute and a half ads, and it's just like, ugh. So it took forever yeah. to get through the show. <laughs> so I'm like, can I, I like? Suck. So I need to like fix it and get rid of the stupid ads. But yeah, that'll speed things up. But like, oh yeah, I, I blew through like a season a day at one point. You know, I was just rolling through it. And I just couldn't stop watching it. You know, like you said, because you're just you're just waiting for like what ridiculous shit is gonna happen next <laughs> the, I mean the best part of the shows too are like they call them the cold opens and that's where they got Letter Kenny from with the YouTube series like they were just like two minute or four minute sketches of some random shit that happened to them yeah. or that they're talking about you know that's what they call the opening segment of each episode and it's just like you know, Squirrely Dan getting a finger up his butt, you know. Oh stuff my god, like that. that that's honestly yeah. one of my top three episodes where he's talking about. He goes, he goes, it, it, it felt so good. And all of a sudden, like they're throwing the baseball and they just turn and immediately like look yeah, away from him throwing and start throwing the baseball back and forth in the driveway. And then then he then he throws a crown ball and they're like real like like real like weird and like wiry and like dropping down, getting it. He's like, what do you get in front of? What do you get in front of it? <laughs> and then and then Wayne's like, okay, Derry, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah, Derry, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my thing is like you're saying, like, I, I don't know how these dudes, like, how there, there's no other, like, this has to take forever to do because like they have to be laughing with half the stuff that they're saying. It's they put out a blooper um, reel after every season too, and that, you got to watch that because Dude, there that? are some that, scenes it, they they cannot get through. Is that on Hulu YouTube. also? No, I YouTubed it. You'll see it on YouTube. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, when we're done here, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> there's like, there's some scenes that takes them like a full day to get through because they're just laughing the whole time, you know? But, and like, that's one thing he said, like another thing that uh, Jared K- Keso said uh, in like the, um, with this show, he goes, honestly, he goes, I love this because I'm literally just going to work and working with my best friends. 
He goes, he goes, we're having yeah. so much fun and we're getting paid. He goes, it's the best job you could ever ask for. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, I mean, and it shows too in their work, you know, it shows that they're, they're all friends and buddies and yeah. Um, it, it, everything just meshes. That's the only thing I can say about this show. Like if you're contemplating watching it, just, just give it a it. chance because everything just meshes together so perfectly. Oh my god, we haven't talked about um, oh god the the minister. I, I can never remember his name. Glenn. 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 And he Glenn, Glenn is like uh, him Glenn and Jared Queso my... are the ones who invented the show, pretty much. Who? Him and Queso. Oh, so he's the other writer then. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, and, Jacob. Oh my Tierney, god, I believe his name is. His character is just so ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that episode <laughs> in the church where he cut co- where Wayne comes in. Or Derry comes the possum. in. Yeah, the possum. He gets the bit. He goes, he goes, boys, take your pants off. It's really hot in here. He's not wearing any pants. <laughs> and then like the other one, like seven seasons later, where like he's trying to sell like they're trying to get the money from their uncle dying, and he's like all the t shirts with like all their sayings, but he's screwing up the sayings <laughs> by like one word. <laughs> and it's like it's just... Pitter patter, let's get her done. <laughs> yeah, it's just like what the fuck? And like said, Glenn, Glenn is like probably like I would say like my favorite characters like I said that's probably Stuart Glenn and then probably like Gail because they're just so weird and just different so like yeah so for me like yeah there's the main characters they're great but like if you don't have these great side characters that they do have that they've all developed so well yeah. the, sh- the show would be like and then they yeah. have like and would, there's like fizzle out and then the dance off where Glenn goes to preach on his soapbox oh. with with the skids That's one dancing of the best scenes. <laughs> and like um, Riley's out there because Jonesy's dating Kitty Cat. <laughs> and they're, they're like, come here, they're, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Like and they're like doing like together. the monkey stuff. <laughs> they're like doing like monkey noises and stuff. And then Riley rolls up and he like and he like sprints to him and they all start crying because he ran away from him. And he's like. He's like, hey, buddy. He goes, he goes. I need a crew. I need a crew, buddy. <laughs> and like I said, it's just it's stupid shit like that. Like, I... no, it's so dumb. It's so dumb, but so funny, dude. Like honestly, I, mean... I feel like next year I want to do a Letterkenny birthday party. Like I want to do a do? Letterkenny theme birthday party. You gotta Every, find you... a farm, huh? You gotta find a farm. I like the show because I remember I started like a year ago. I just you know life happens and i just didn't get time to finish and i finally watched all of it and i like the one weekend i literally sat here all weekend didn't leave my apartment and just watched like six seasons and i was like so content i literally ordered pizza because i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't want to yeah. leave because i was like so engrossed um, in this show sounds like a great weekend right there oh, man it was i had pizza and chipotle it was a very fat lazy weekend I didn't Some even I, I didn't even have any beers with it either. It was just like I wanted to focus. So I was like, yeah. I, I got I got, got yeah. time to research for the podcast. Yeah. And I was telling you like I want I really want I really want to do it'd be expensive to do, but it'd be funny. I want to go to Halloween next year, and I want to change my outfit three times to all three different letter Kenny hockey uniforms <laughs> as <laughs> as Shorzy, which I think would be freaking hilarious if you've seen the show. Oh, it would be, yeah. But it, uh, if not, I would just get the Shorzy one, the 60, which it's also the fact that he's number 69 is also hilarious. <laughs> it's like, I, because as soon as he turned so around, shorzy. as soon as he turned around and they showed his number, I was like, I see what they did there. Yeah. yeah when, he's so the ref, when he's the referee skating around, like talking shit to these female hockey players. <laughs> 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 like, it's just like, it's stupid stuff like that. It's just like, it's cool because you can tell like that's actually him skating. Like he can skate very well because he grew up playing hockey, which I yeah. really like. It's so, like that whole. They scene... all did. Yeah, it's like a that... lot of them did, man. All the hockey players played. Even... And like a... well, something I read was Dylan Even... Playfair, which is Riley. Mm-hmm. His dad played in the NHL, and he so he grew up in NHL and minor league locker rooms. I think his dad. Had... I think they have the same name, don't they? Uh. He's Dylan. I want to say the dad is Darren or something like that. Because I looked him. I looked up Dylan Playfair because I remember you were telling me he played hockey, and like yeah. he has like stats like online. Like he actually played like hockey, really? like leagues and stuff. Like it just happened to pop up. There's no picture of him. 
Yeah. Then pulled up a picture of like some dude that said Playfair, the last name, wearing a letter Kenny hockey hat. I'm like, that's got to be his dad, like being funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. And so, like, he's also doing, you know, that Disney Plus brought back the Mighty Ducks. I saw he was on there. I was like, because I, 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 I looked him up on, like, IMDb to see, see if he'd been anything else that I might have seen. I just didn't re- recognize yeah. it. And, yeah, he's on the Mighty Ducks show. Yeah. So I gave it a try with my kids, and it's like, he's he's one of those characters, like, like George from Seinfeld. It's like, once you get a role like that, that's what you are. Like, I cannot see you in another role. And that's how I feel with Riley and probably all these Letterkenny guys, you know? So is he, like, a serious role in the Mighty Ducks show? Very, he's very serious. He's a hard-ass, uh, demanding coach in it. You know, and you're just waiting for him to like start speaking, Puck Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've been waiting and on. He pu- uses some of the same language too, which is like you want to start laughing, but it's like he's being serious about it. Like he uses some of the hockey language he uses in Letterkenny, yeah, in Mighty Ducks, but in like a more serious tone. So it doesn't. It's like it doesn't add up. It, it's hard to watch. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's funny because like you see people outside because eventually they're gonna do other stuff besides this show like on the side. I remember I was watching the TV show Psych, and I was watching an episode where like these two guys are like womanizing for cougars, and I looked at the face. I got I was I was looking at my phone that I heard the voice. It was Jared Kiso's voice. I was like, he's not in this ep- He's not in this show. He just it's like this one episode he's in. It only has like maybe ten lines, so it's like a really small part. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, that's him. Cause I'm pretty sure I yeah. think I screenshot and sent it to you. Either you or Ben. I think it might have been Ben. Yeah. yeah, it might have been Ben. But I looked it up and I'm like, that was him. He was like, I think it was like nine, maybe ten years ago, or something like that. It, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, it was. I think it was before Letterkenny took off. I'm assuming. He, he did a lot of work. Like he was in a some Canadian police drama. That's what I uh, heard. He this. talked about. He talked about doing that. He, he he goes. It's he goes. It's hard to bounce back. He goes. You have the serious drama. He goes, and then you have Letterkenny. He goes, that's two polar opposite characters. He goes, I love playing both. He goes, but Letterkenny is like, he goes, I love playing that character because that's my life growing up was like yeah. hockey, beer, smoking, cussing. and Yeah. And it's like, I just want to know where they find these females at. That's what I want to know. Where, where are they put the at? We just need hot chicks to show up. Just like, and done. I don't know where they found Lonnie McMurray at, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bonnie McMurray, Oof. her and Kitty Cat, yeah. and um, what, what's his ex's name? Um, Wayne's ex's name. What's her name? Uh, Which one? <laughs> oh, the, the one, the Puck Bunny. Angie. 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 Oh my God, Angie too. Where she comes back yeah. from, like England. And she's like, hello. We'll fly. <laughs> get How, your you, finger out of your ass. Get your finger out of your ass. <laughs> uh, it's like little one liners like that. Like they talk about, it and they're like, "Get your finger out of your ass." Yeah. And then like <laughs> the skids call Wayne a shirt tucker. <laughs> like, like, I never got. It took me like four episodes. I'm like, why is he calling that? I was like, oh, his shirt's always tucked in. <laughs> I, was like, I, was I like, think Tana oh. said it in one of the episodes too, and they're all standing together, and Wayne's like, "You're gonna have to be more specific, specific. than that." <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I like another thing that you talk about with the cold openings. Another thing that I love about that is that I started to notice like there's more and more German Shepherd puppies in every single opening now. Now there's like yeah, nine yeah. puppies in each that's opening. That's something with that's something with Jared Queso. Uh, he's like a big dog person, and um, they he's he actually has a dog named Gus. And if you know the whiskey in the in the Gus and Brew series, Gus and Brew. So it's like they, he incorporates a lot of stuff like that into the series. Um, but he's a big he's a big dog person, I read, and he like I think he flat out said he's like who doesn't want to see puppies? So we just yeah I mean, get them in there any way we can. And the, and the scene where like the dog poops in the house and the, and he he goes all right I'm gonna talk to him I'm gonna talk to him okay okay I'm gonna talk to him he goes hey <laughs> is that you leaving Snickers in the house? <laughs> and they're like wow. He he's really thinks he's in trouble. He so he covers the dog's ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Derry. Okay. Okay, Derry. Derry. Dar- okay. Okay, Derry. Yeah. Like they're in there in the car. Where like Derry's like, "Why'd you park so far away?" He goes, 
He goes, I'm sorry, do you have a vagina now? <laughs> He's basically calling him a bitch because he doesn't want to walk through the cold. <laughs> He's to like, get to the know, bar. It's really damn. If you have Rockstar's parking, you got to take Rockstar's parking. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's just the way they talk. They had all the S's and the O's and the Quebecs and the Quebecs and it's just all yeah. these like random shit on the, about this show. It's just, it's so great. So again, I can't urge people enough. Please watch this show. It's so funny. I'm not, I'm not getting paid by the show in any shape, way, or form. If I would, I could. Or I could if I would is the best way to put it, but I'm not. But I advertise for him for free because the show's hilarious. But, all right, man, well, I'm going to wrap this up. But, again, man, I yeah. appreciate you coming on. Like I said, it was pretty easy, right? Just yeah, talking about, talk about, talk about Letter Kenny, you know? Yeah. I said, if I, I get, if I can show. if I can get a hold of any of these actors and get them on, I will let you know. We just won't tell yeah, Ben. You know. We just won't tell Ben. You know you're calling. <laughs> Yeah, you remember who showed up. Yeah, remember who showed up. <laughs> so, yeah, Frank, I want to thank you again. And everybody, please be sure to, uh, you know, subscribe and follow on all the major uh, podcast platforms. We have the new website, lifeofpi.org, all lowercase. We also have a YouTube page, Life of Pi, all lowercase. So please subscribe, check those out. We've got movie reviews on there. And we actually am starting merchandising here in the next month or two, so be on the lookout for that as well. So again, Frank, thank you for coming on. And thank you for everybody who is listening still to us rambling about Letterkenny. And until next time, I hope you've enjoyed the slice of pie.